Hey guys, so before I start, um, excuse the voice. I am sick. I'm very much congested, but I feel like I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm sorry for the lack of videos. Anyways, as mentioned in the title, I will be doing a Mac haul and a Surf Baby haul. I haven't done a haul video in a long time, and for some reason, many of my viewers like them. So let's just go ahead and get started. So this is not in any particular order. The first thing that I got was the Pro Performance Sponge. So I believe MAC came out with this because of the beauty blender that's been like on the hype. I know Makeup by Tiffany D like is in love with it. So I wanted to try MAC's. The next thing that I got, uh, I wanted to grab one of these because I never use um, lash curlers before um, but um, I was really fascinated about the half lash curler and you can't really see it but it's a small like it's half size so that it can really get the ends of the lash or even like for those who have small lashes um, to get in the corners because sometimes the full size lash curler um, it's too big the next thing that I got is a lip gloss. I don't even know when this came out. I think this was only a Mac store release, but this is a lip gloss in Astro Cool. Okay, looks like that. I just got myself another 224 brush. You guys should know this is my favorite brush in the whole wide world. Um, I specifically got another one because uh, I use it for concealer. And I don't want to mix all my other ones um, that I use for my eyes. I also got brown script eyeshadow. Did not have it in pan form, so I had to get it in palette form. But it's just a great, great, great eyeshadow to have. It is permanent, by the way, so you don't have to worry about it being limited. I also got Soba eyeshadow. Just to add to my collection, it's a really pretty brown like lots. Next one, I haven't gotten my hands on this, so decided to get it just for the heck of it. This is the famous Saint Germain pink lipstick that you can only get from the Mac store. So I decided to get myself one of those. I also got two liners. This came out with quite cute. So these came out with quite cute. They are permanent now. So I got naked liner and in cinch liner. I love them. I also got On The Hunt Super Slick Liquid Eyeliner. This is the uh, black liner that dries to a glossy finish that is um, up to eight hours of wear without it smudging or creasing. I'm not a fan of glossy finishes as far as liner, but it looks really, really great if you just have it on by itself. Or even with just like a nude eyeshadow, I really like it. But as far as like looks, if I were to do a look, I personally would not use this for it. I just personally don't like glossy finishes as far as liners go. Okay, now for Surf Baby. I had to get my hands on the infamous uh, cheek powder called My Paradise. This is the one with um, the golden... Uh, hibiscus. If you are just a fan of the gold flex in it, don't get it. Um, I personally liked both of them because uh, eventually the gold flex will wear off. So I got that. I also got Surf the Ocean Crushed Metal Pigments. Now, I was not a fan of these when Solar Bits came out. Uh, when they first released the chunky pigments and spring colored forecast I was not a fan of them because they were just so chunky um, it was hard to apply like it literally was hard to apply but I guess they changed the formula they look like this I actually have the silver one right on my lid I'm in love with these um, the only thing is you need to put a primer on and this works best if you use your finger so um, the brushes will not pick it up I've tried every brush I personally still feel like the best color payoff that you're gonna get out of this is by using your finger the next thing that I got were 
um, saffron eyeshadow. I know when they came out with the Mickey Contractor collection, I was not able to get my hands on this. Um, so I got it for this collection. This one is called Saffron, and I also have it right here as my crease color. I love, love, love this. It's a satin finish, and it just gives that oomph that rule cannot give rule eyeshadow. I still love rule eyeshadow, but personally, I love, love, love this. And I am a fan of the packaging. I honestly like the packaging. I got Surf USA, the very, very infamous teal green. It's more green than teal. Now, I also got pink tinge um, scented because it's kind of like a pinky. The color is not going to be strong, but it's very, very subtle, very natural looking. I love it. And it has an SPF of 20. It's really, really good. And uh, this one has like gold flecks in it. So I really love that one. That's the reason why I got it. So the last thing that I personally purchased from the Surf Baby collection was Solar Reach bronzing powder. It looks like this. Um, I know it's a re-promote. I never got it though, but everyone loves it. Like everyone that I know uh, loves the Solar Reach and I personally tried it on and I was like, oh my god, I have to get it. I fell in love with it when I tested it on. Okay, now these products were sent for consideration because of my job. I personally did not purchase these. These um, are basically what you get uh, because you're an employee with Mac. So it's, I guess it's this part is not a haul. This is just what I got from the Surf Baby collection. Uh, this one is called Lush Light Bronze. This is the Care Blend. I really wanted this one because this one is the one that's a little bit more pinky. And I love it because it has the embossed uh, MAC print on it. So I love it. And I love the color. Again, I got another um, sun tint. This one's called Full of Grace. A skin sheen bronzer stick. This one is in Billionaire Bronze. I love this one. It's really, really good for my complexion. This is not sheer at all. It's like full on color. Like what you see, it's definitely what you get. And um, you definitely want to build this on. You don't want to directly put this on the skin. You want to use a brush with it. Anything synthetic is really, really good. So I like this one. This one's called Bust Out. It's the purple one from the Surf Baby. And this one is a lesser formula. And then I got the gloss called Good Lovin'. And it's just this sheer coral color. Swell Baby um, eyeshadow. And it's the gray one that has a satin finish. I don't have anything like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. I normally don't do them anymore, but um, hey, why not? Um, since I haven't done one and Surf Baby is really, really big this year. A lot of people really liked it compared to the previous collection called Flighty. Not a fan of it personally. Um, I know not a lot of people were crazy about it either. So um, because this was introduced, this was an awesome awesome collection that Matt came out with especially for the summertime um, I really did like this collection because it did have that retro vintage feel to it um, that really great summer type uh, collection so um, if you do have any questions feel free to comment below and until my next video um, I will talk to all of you guys soon bye